Hello everyone, I am glad to be invited by IIM Trichy to speak this weekend on their campus. I'm going to address the batch of MBA students, both year one and year two. And I'm going to speak about uh, the principles you should use to have outstanding careers, not just in your 20s, but even after that. In the rest of this uh, vlog, you will see some interesting memories of mine from that trip. Hope you enjoy. So if you really want to play the long game, if you want to have an extraordinarily successful career over a period of 20 years, 30 years, the skill sets that will really matter to you are what we call the soft skill sets or the soft courses or where I come from, they used to call it the globe courses. They will really help you. So for instance, understanding psychology, understanding HR, understanding storytelling, understanding economics. All of these are going to hold you in very good stead. One of the skill sets, and my next book is on this, is called storytelling. You've heard a lot about storytelling. It's the, it's uh, just to give you a sense of uh, why storytelling is important. The number one reason the human species is alive today is actually storytelling. And the number one reason you will succeed in your careers is storytelling. Why is that? Think of our species. We are not the fastest. We are not the quickest. We are not the most dominating. The only reason the human beings have survived is they have crafted these stories and these stories have brought people together so that they cooperate. Stories about religion, stories about politics, stories about corporations, even the I am narrative is essentially a story where all of you are coming under one branch. So this is something, a skill set you have to know. So Career Launcher approached me and they said, will you write for our magazine? And that will appeal to college students. Now, a lot of people told me at this point that, you know, you come from an IIM, you're doing well in life. Your first book that's released very well. Writing for a coaching center magazine is sort of below your dignity. And don't do it. I actually did it. I did it for a period of two years. And because I was a big deal for them, because they had got someone like me, I had full freedom to exercise on my style. So I wrote short, uh, short essays. I wrote long essays. I wrote funny essays. I wrote uh, serious essays. And over a period of time, my writing style absolutely improved. Today, as, as you would have heard in my introduction, uh, I don't want to brag, although that might be some of the intent, that I write for the Times of India. I write for Fortune. I write for ET. I write for Hindustan Times. Uh, I'm the only guy in India who writes for all the newspapers. And I know this because the editor of Fortune has told me and if I look back, the only reason I'm able to do that today is because of that stint I had with the coaching center. And I was very clear that I'm a very smart guy. I've done this great project. And once when I pass out, I will probably advise Mukesh Ambani on what he should do with his business empire next. I genuinely thought about that. To be honest, even 200 other people in my batch also thought they would do that. Let me tell you what happened in our first year after passing out. I went to Uttar Pradesh. I went to, it was peak summer, 45 degrees heat. I went to meet a Sarpanch. And uh, in the middle of the hot sun, trust me, this is not even hot what you're seeing out here. So 45 degrees in a village in Uttar Pradesh. And I'm sitting with the Sarpanch. And I'm trying to convince him why he should buy anti-lice shampoo. Shampoo that will remove the lice from his head. This is how the conversation is going forward. I am telling him the benefit. This is actually medical shampoo. So I'm actually having this conversation saying lice are bad for your hair. It's unhygienic. It's hot. It's sweaty. The Sarpanch responds to me. The lice also has life. I feed him food and he gives me company. And no amount of training in IAM, any IAM you go to can prepare you to say what to say next to this guy. I had made these beautiful 20 slide presentation 
to tell a distributor in Basti district that if he follows process, his business will shoot up. Try and understand, try and imagine how that scene is going. This is 2010 in India. The guy heard me for 15 minutes. I built this beautiful issue tree. My slides were absolutely beautiful. The messages were landed. I'm telling a UP businessman he has to follow process and his revenue will shoot up by 12%. He heard me for 15 minutes, at the end of which, for the first time I saw, he actually spat pan into that bus basket next to him. And he looked at me and he said, Chokre teri umar kya hai? So I replied back and I said, Chobis. He said, Zindagi mein kabhi katha dekha hai? So for some of you who might not know the language, is basically a gun. And he opened a drawer, he took a gun and he put it in front of me. At this point, my boss is messaging me, has he agreed to your recommendations? So I, I had passed out of you know, that point. I'm Bangalore was very, very special and very, very good. So I, I mean, you obviously think you're God's gift to mankind. So I thought I'll, I'll be a little smart ass with this guy. So I told him, and I'm going to translate this for you, that is this gun a toy or does this gun actually work? For some reason, the guy did not shoot me. The lifeline on my hand must be uh, pretty, pretty strong. I hope you enjoyed the various moments that were captured in the vlog during my recent visit to I am Trichy. Over the next few months, I'm going to have many more such interesting conversations at various IITs, various IIMs and various corporates. And I want to take you along with me on this journey so that you can witness firsthand some very interesting conversations. So if you want to be a part of this journey, do subscribe to the channel, click on the bell icon. And before we finish, I would like to convey my gratitude to I am Trichy for uh, inviting me and the excellent hospitality that I received at the Institute. And till next time, take care.